Relax. Relax. Draw some white. Head back a little bit, Joe. Chest drop. Wow, beautiful face ups. You okay here? Okay. Like so. so many years, so tight, right? Yeah, so tight. It's crazy. It is, it is. Roll your knee in. Relax your foot. Whew! It's massive. <laughs> Shoulders loose. It's magic. <laughs> One over this way. That was amazing. Hips, yeah, just like that. Breathe. All the way out. Loose here. Beautiful, brother. Beautiful. Face up now. Head relaxed. Loose. Still a little bit too much inflammation. This guy's got to ice. Drop your head here. All the way. Drop right there. Wow. All right. Put it in. Hold your breath, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> going for uh, going for that uh, action figure kind of yeah. Batman effect. Kung Fu grip. Then I love it. Chest relaxed. <gasps> um, that was massive. Trying to trying to keep up with Katie today, huh? I hope so. Come on. <laughs> drop, drop. Oh. Wow. That was champion level, bro. Yeah. But it moved beautifully, brother. There you go. Yeah. Head relaxed. Mm. Solid. Yeah. The inflammation goes down. Your sweater mm. game's on point. Right? Come on, man. Give the wife. Get a wife. Get a wife. Get, get a wife. I got one. Get a got one, Get man. better sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> proud of you, man. Like, I'm seriously proud of you. You're doing much better. So many people are inflamed, and this is such an important concept. If you're too inflamed, it's not only difficult for us to get the adjustment, but what happens is you're going to be in pain. So inflammation is swelling, and inflammation happens when you have too much sugar, not enough sleep, too much alcohol, maybe too much caffeine, maybe you're eating a lot of sugary, starchy food, too much rice, breads, pastas. The key, though, is that if you're really inflamed, we might, might not be able to get a solid adjustment because there's swelling, the area is full of fluid, and we can't get that joint really which means we can't get you properly aligned. So my man Mubarak, we're gonna get him on traction. I'm gonna sit him in the waiting room, the reception area. He's the second one today that I'm gonna say, hey man, you're gonna sit there for 20 minutes with some ice because he's not doing it on its own. So, hey, no harm, no foul. He's a busy guy, but we gotta get that inflammation down. Let's go. I get the shooting pain across uh -huh. my chest from like here to here, and even small points in between. Any kind of like kind of compressing motion, or if I just turn, mm. it hurts. Even when I do that right now, I feel it. Like here? Does it hurt when you cough? <coughs> like that if you cough? No. Okay. So the first thing I would do, especially with you because you're so proactive, which I love by the way, that would cut from the same cloth, is uh, do you have a pull-up bar? I do. Just hang from it? Hang from it. Aim for a minute at a time, which is tough at first. When you're not used to it, a minute's a long time. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, right on. So I go for about five to seven minutes a day of hanging. Just hanging. Just hanging. Just opening and breathing, slow, deep, melodic belly breathing, do that for about a week, then report back. Also, uh, you know what C's and D's are? C's it's like the D's CrossFit D's. way to open up your shoulders, you know, when you swing, right? So you're, you're swinging. Mm. C, D, I C, see yeah, 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 yeah. And I love doing it on the rings, the bar. And when your shoulders are internally rotated and there's a degree of inflammation, it hurts. Like, you're like, oh, 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 you know? So what happens is you have to relax into it. You've got to kind of like let your body hang. Start slowly, breathing, and, and then a little momentum. Little, a little momentum. There's a lot of momentum, yeah. But it, it opens up your shoulders, and it'll 
undo a lot of what you're experiencing when you're sitting down all day. And it'll also counter a lot of the compressive force in the groundwork, which is really compressive. Right. So I would go there first before we, you know, reevaluate the spine, start digging and beating up your muscles, because that's simple and I know you're going to do it. Does that make sense? Sounds good. Do that first. If it still hurts, then we got to dig a little deeper. A uh, little bit of sciatica coming back. Oh, okay. Um, right side? But down to, say, almost the knee. Okay. Yeah. So you definitely had some challenges. But uh, overall, I'm all right. And again. Amazing release. Oh. Beautiful game. Oh. Big. Big breath. Just make sure. Beautiful. Show me your neck extension exercises. It's made for LeBron. <laughs> can you can you hold I'm right LeBron. there? Up here, up here. Up here. There we go. Elbows right. in. Push as the head goes back. Up a little higher with the hands. Look straight ahead. Push. There we go. Four sets slowly of five to uh, about ten actually. Okay. And then we'll set you up for traction. It's gonna be about ten minutes. Does that hurt? Yes. Okay. Do you speak any other languages? French. He's French. Wonderful. Yeah. I don't think anybody here speaks French. Okay. So if you want to yell out some swear words in French, it's probably going to sound beautiful. Okay. Okay, so. Merde! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. See, no, 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 that's universal. I understand yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I know this hurts. Oh. You hurt the hand, yeah. it's painful, very painful. Breathe, and if you want to swear, it's got to be in French. Okay. okay. What do you want me to say? Anything in French doesn't matter, it probably sounds good. Just breathe though. No! <laughs> See? Sounds beautiful. Okay, now breathe. Chest up. And breathe out. And then let go. Can the body heal? Yes, absolutely. Let it go. The nice thing about hand fractures is they, most of them are relatively minor and don't need cast. I don't think it's broken, but we will take a picture if we don't see an improvement. So not to worry, but I do want you to do two things. We're gonna set you up on traction in just a second. You're gonna ice. The best way is to submerge it in water with like ice cubes or just put an ice pack around it for like a good solid 10 minutes. Imagine you're at Cabo waiting for the drink, bro. <laughs> Work earlier. Breath in, my man. In, out. Turn your head to the right, let it go. Breath in again, and all the way out. Drop your head, drop, drop. Really tight. My cashmere is getting stuck on your head. <laughs> A little bit more dramatic. Oh, he is for sure. <laughs> I mean, I have to look for that one. <laughs> Hold yourself up, Joe. Hold yourself up. Breathe in, stay close to me, and breathe. It's your amazing, awesome wife. Head back a little bit, Joe. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> so Carlos is in for a second visit. Ooh, did you feel that? Yeah. Beautiful. We're doing some P to A pumping action, posterior to anterior pumping action on the sacrum. We just got a big release. What happens when you're sitting without motion and the spine can't move properly is the cerebrospinal fluid doesn't circulate. When the spinal cord is damaged, you get proteins that aggregate okay and prevent healing. And so you've got to have a circulation of cerebral spinal fluid in order to take those away and actually allow healing to occur. Not enough just to sit there and, you know, pumping that fluid. Second adjustment today, Carlos. How you been all day? Feeling really good, man. God uh, bless, brother. Everything's been. Beautiful thing, I think, um, just to have hope, right, sir? Definitely. I'm not shy in saying that I'm a hope dealer, man. We need it, you know? Yes, sir. But, uh, but it's not founded on just wishing and wanting. It's uh. Yeah, it's that pop felt really good. Man. Amazing, didn't it? Oh, man. Brother. I just want to see what, you know, what you got. Just try to move your legs. Look at that. He's using his core muscles. He's moving his torso. And you see, too, that the abs insert here on the pubic bone. 
That's why I like, you know, like that type of motion, that's ab work, right? So I want you to tuck your abs up really tight. You see how his pelvis is moving? So just by doing that, he's gonna pump cerebral spinal fluid around his spinal cord. That's beautiful, Carl. Just relax, shoulders loose. Beautiful, breathe in and out. Loose, loose. You okay? When you're, when you're in the chair on a bench like this or the bed and sitting up and kind of holding on to something as you develop the core strength to do it on your own, um, I want you holding and touching the muscles that you're trying to activate. So for example, you know, you could be working on your abs with your hand on your abs, right? You might be trying and struggling to sit up and you might hold your abs. I want you to hold your legs. I want you to touch your genitals, your legs, your knees, you know, as far as you can, obviously. But to, you gotta, you gotta connect. You gotta bring that awareness. You gotta have that connection of what you're trying to do. Fuzzy targets don't get hit, right? Oh, I'm gonna open a business. I'm gonna serve people. Well, what does that mean, right? You have to have a vision, and you've gotta have action step. Loose, loose. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How does it go? Feeling good? Looking good? Ought to be in Hollywood. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Thing number. Uh, Drop your hips, drop your hips. Oh my God. Come on, man. You yeah. have faith. You gotta have faith, brother. On your back, sir. And down. Drop your head back. Think about love. Beautiful. Breath in. Beautiful. Let it go, let it go. Okay, Tom. All right, champ. Head down. Hands on top of mine. Interlock your fingers, squeeze down. Chest up. Breathe. Right now. Oh, wow. We're out here, bro. We're working. <laughs> okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna go on the floor, my man. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm nervous for him. But God knows if we don't try. There you go. Yeah. There, there. Let him do it. Let him do it. Yes! <laughs> my guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. God bless you, brother. Me, it's easy, man. It's just a, I just listen, you know, and I just follow along, brother. Hit the deck like a push-up position, brother. Cool. My mate, look at my mate. He's working. He's working. Make sweat, man. Good. <laughs> Good. It'll it'll come over itself. Keep. It'll come over. There you go. Okay. It'll come over. I got you. I got you, brother. We're we're a team, man. We're a team. Okay. Push yourself up. Yes. Chest up. Chest up. Look at the wall in front of you. Breathe. Come back there. Bring yourself back down. All the way, all, all the way down. Okay. okay. Now push yourself back up. Okay. Up, 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 and tuck in here. Yes. Once you use those abs, tuck, 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 tuck. Pull your pubic bone up. Yes. Do this guy. Okay. And now let yourself down slowly, but right before you get to the very bottom, your chest pops up and looks at the wall in front of you. Don't go all the way down, so you're like not doing anything. Go like a millimeter from the ground, all the way down. And then now push your chest up. So instead of doing like a push up, you're doing like an upward dog. Yeah. Okay, now go back down. All the way down, all the way down. Rest, all the way rest, down, rest, all the way. Okay, try to move your legs a little bit. But move them, yes, yes. Look at that. Move them, move them, move them, move them. Okay, push yourself back up. Tuck, tuck, tuck the abs. Tuck, 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 tuck. Try to push yourself back towards onto your knees. I know it's not necessarily gonna happen perfectly, but just do it. Now, drop your belly, look up towards the sky. And breathe out. Other way. That's cat pose. Cow, other way, breathe in. And out. Okay. Look at this, my man is paralyzed from the waist down, and he's doing cat cow on his own. <laughs> do you, uh, you see this? Is, is this amazing? This is inspiring, right? Yes. Now, walk your hands uh, back down, bring your body back down, slide your legs back, but just get yourself down, okay, and, and give yourself a rest on your chest, Oh boy, oh boy, look at that, beautiful, breathe, hey, <laughs> I'm proud of you, brother, all right, cool, so, oh, you're sparkling, bro, you're sparkling, bro, you're not sweating, <laughs> feels good, man. It does feel good, my man. Never done. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get it back into the chair. So I want you to get yourself uh, back up uh, to that position we were just in. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up. Look at this. Look at this. Bull. 
You gotta remember what's on the line. Like, did you just see that? <laughs> that so was great. Right there. Sit your hips down towards your feet and you keep your arms forward so you don't collapse backwards. So you walk your hands forward, walk them forward towards the F, towards the hallway, okay. but keep walking them forward and keep putting your butt backwards. Push your butt backwards. Like, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Hey. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> My God. This is so awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Dale's gonna set you up in traction. I'm proud of you, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. You're welcome. It's been a beautiful day at Active Health. My man Carlos in his wheelchair, climbed out of his wheelchair onto the floor, doing push-ups, doing an upward dog, getting into a kneeling position. First time in two years. We are out here. I hope you have subscribed. I've seen you. This is for you. I'm talking to you because you're watching this. I appreciate you. We're here daily dub, aligning spines and minds. Make sure, bow, bow, stay ready. Subscribe because we got a lot of content. We just released a new daily dub today. We're answering your questions. I got you. Just so many amazing, beautiful things happen. The people starting care, their lives are changing. We have a high love practice. It's beautiful. Eight Ball says, Dr. Jason, can a person pull a muscle in their stomach, lower abdomen? Lower abdomen makes stomach hurt. I have constant problems with constipation or IBS. What the time length of this recovery for this type of injury? I use ice, heat, and copy the exercise you do in your videos. Awesome. I love it, man. More than likely, your spine is out of alignment, causing either the diaphragm, the lower back, the abdominal muscles to strain. Muscles tend to strain to protect joints. Um, also, the nerves that come out of the lower back go to the intestine. And because of that, many times people have a subluxation, a disconnect between brain and body, a misaligned vertebrae, and you can't necessarily feel that. And so then they have poor digestive, uh, excuse me, poor digestive function, poor intestinal function, and maybe they feel tightness and they're like, yeah, I think it's because of the muscle, but I would definitely go to the chiropractor. Phenomenal question. Appreciate you guys watching. I got to wrap up. I got to roll home. We got house calls as usual. It's been a busy day. Thank you for being here. I love you for watching and being here with me. And I love that you're part of our practice. Even if you're in another part of the world, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, you won't see our videos first. Come on, let's go. I'll see you next time.